five seconds remaining. And you have last pick now, ZG, against this Wind Ranger. It's a lot of options, to be honest here. The Lina's still a very good option. You can actually go for the Dusa here, it's not bad either. Yeah, I was thinking it's Dusa as well. I think that covers a lot of EG's bases. Or the Quap. You may now select Queen your of Pain for us, baby. Sumail Quap <laughs> against Wee Wind Ranger. That's going to be a glorious matchup in the mid lane. I, I like the Quap slight advantage. I think the Quap has a slight advantage here because Wind, usually you want to go for either the Power Shot or the, or the Wind Ranger or the Wind Run build. Wind Run, Queen of Pain doesn't care too much about because Shadow Strike still hits you. And Power Shot can be evaded. Depends if you see it preemptively, have a good vision. So it depends on Wind Ranger's positioning here a lot. Quap can put a lot more pressure, certainly. And can definitely has more kill potential. But once you hit the level six, the Wind Ranger could shackle shot you and focus fire. And as long as you have one javelin, you can kill the Wind Queen of Pain. So interesting matchup as you mentioned. In terms of attack animation, I would say the Wind Ranger has a slight advantage, but Queen of Pain has more damage. Yeah. So just comes down to like kind of dancing around the shadow strikes, like you're saying. Yeah. Try and burn through that regen as the Queen of Pain as best you can. And look for that kill threat with the Spirit Breaker charging across the map. That's true. Yeah, the Spur Breaker actually really destabilizes because Liquid, I guess, could can TP with IO for healing and Shadow Demon for like a single save. But it's not as, as clean as the Spur Breaker charge. He's one of the best heroes to gank the mid lane together with Earth Spirit. Well, there we go. Game two Team Liquid versus Evil Geniuses. EG with the 1 0 lead. Get ourselves underway and find out what we're dealing with in the laning stage as game two kicks off. Life stealer for Arteezy. Wandering up towards top, Sumail on the Quap. Fly the Grimstroke yet again with Crit Spirit Breaker. And S4 on the Bat Rider over towards Liquid. We've got Mind Control, the Legion Commander. We are yet again playing his Wind Ranger, the Hero Puddle. Being exploited by Liquid. We'll see if they can get some wins with it. Kuroki on the Shadow Demon and Miracle Gyro down towards bottom. GH on the IO, of course, lurking in the shadows. Yet again, setting up for this counter smoke setup. Ready and prepared for any kind of shenanigans EG you want to pull. Less clean this time, though. Like, the Shadow Demon is there as well, so they're probably not expecting as much as last time. Uh, the, the potential smoke. Which makes sense. Not the best uh, level 1 engagement like the last game with EG. And you can still go for level 1 smoke, but the lack of stun in your core, for example, or any stun in general except for the charge, is obviously making you doubt that. I would say the Wind Ranger just, you know, we, we talked about that a lot last game, but I, I was saying in the draft, you do, I would like to see a mid laner with a stun. She does bring that, she brings some fun to the table, and has a decent matchup, really good matchup, let's say, against Lifestealer. <laughs> I just don't believe in this hero as much as we does, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm in a similar spot. Bounty runes looks like they're going to be two for two split. Not going two for two east versus west, though. Going uh, across the river pretty much this time, which is a little more unusual than I'm used to seeing. Kuroki and GH already deforesting the area down bottom. Remove any spots that maybe S4 could be hiding in, and even setting up for a potential kill onto that Batrider. And this leaves MC alone top, while Crit is ready to maneuver bottom. What's he got level one? Nothing yet. Can go for the charge, though, if needs be. Because GH and Kuroki, they've got eyes on the Batrider. They know exactly where S4 is. Lurk around the back. Kuroki there with the disruption to start things off. Miracle homing missile level one. So they've got the connection and the chain stuns to be able to bring S4 low. They should have the damage to bring him down as well. So first blood will be spilt down bottom. GH grabs the kill. Money in his pockets. Yeah. Interesting they went for the home missile level one. They know the setup from the Shadow Demon is so powerful as opposed to the damage from Rocket Barrage. They were not so trusting in their body block potential, which is not the other way you have of stopping them. Not bad. GH uh, unable though to stop this these creeps from being pulled into Bad Rider's zone. Oh, or perhaps no, there it is. Yeah, under the tower, so S4 can last at them effectively. And he he's still able to recover even if he dies early. He has not much loss to the offlaners, more of a win for the IO. And obviously again that early bottle on IO super effective. Top lane we might see an engagement. Crit is going all the way from the other side of the map trying to stop this mind control or 
Nah, stops the charge. There's no support near him. There's no way they can get the kill. Yeah, Fly completing the pull. But they do bring the trial in top again. Two heroes yeah. bodyguarding RTZ yet one more time. MC and Kuroki try and do the best they can out of this lane. They're baiting with RTZ here. Drop low. Doesn't have a cell to fall back on. Just a couple of tangos as the charge. Cancelled out with a good disruption, but the ink swell will be enabled by it. MC gets stunned up. Arteezy looking for the killing blow, but he's going to bait it out. Make sure that he doesn't die. Dodges the second stack of poison. And now looks to turn and farm some crepes. Get that gold going. Kuroki. Yet again off the mark there. Arteezy very nimble. And dodging away from the poison. My question there is why he disrupts the Legion Commander as opposed to the Square Breaker. I, I guess it's a safer way to, to stop the charge, but because you might not get him in time. Yeah. But it also puts your Legion in that position, right? We can just the Ink Swell. And much like all the other spells the Child even has, you do get the little tendril damage to that, so. You know? And he gets another Banish, though, here with the Lifestealer Illusions. Might get the kill onto RTZ. Use the poison before the rage can be activated. Nice job, but is the damage sufficient? The Stout Shield saves him, but the overwhelming odds will finally bring down RTZ. As Mind Control now fights off Fly and Crit, the two invaders, who are now forced to try lane here. Thanks to the pressure Mind Control is putting up. Even just this level 1 poison from Kuroki, you cannot underestimate how much damage that can do. Good amount of harassment and chip damage towards Fly. You, you're damn right, they, they are forced to try lane there. So S4, he's been left alone bottom, but funnily enough, S4 will find a way. Miracle, pop the stick, healed up by GH, but still drops. Bat Rider, in a one versus two scenario, S4 flicks the switch and says, thank you very much, I'll take a kill on your carry, no big deal. And we're saying this in the draft, right? You don't have a Batrider counter as your carry. It's a gyrocopter. You're forced into this position. Io gives you healing, sure. But you don't want healing against Batrider. You want to dispel. Top lane. They're trying to get the kill on Mind Control as well. Slow down. Mind Control has the first attack to spell the overwhelming odds. Nice body block there by the fat ass crit. But the damage is not sufficient to bring down Mind Control. And EG. This Trilane is looking for kills a bit desperately to make sure they, they're worth it. But they're not able to find them. There's not enough catch against the Slinger Commander. Yeah, you know that Miracle dying and then TPing bottom reduces an option for Liquid to actually maneuver into any kind of counter-initiation situation, so EG just putting the pressure on, laying it on thick every lane they can. I'm just looking bottom, like, both of these heroes have wands and they still die to S4's Batrider. It's, it's insanity. Oh, top rune. Uh, Blink forward. Sumail wants in. Weeha wants out. And it looks like Weeha will get what he wants. Taking a bit of damage in the process, though. Running low on regen, needs to bring out a salve and a mango on this Wind Ranger ASAP. Luckily, Samuel didn't have too much mana in with the magic. Oh, he's thinking about it though, goes for last Shadow Strike. Is we gonna die? Just the residual damage, tries to TP in time. Should be good. The tower, or the fountain, sorry. Yeah, save it. We're on the top lane, engagement Yikes. happening. Kuroki goes down. That's not T-Tours, guys. We were watching Weeha nearly die in Fountain. It's fine. Kuroki drops. Bounty room timing as well. Crit will realize MC has beaten him to the punch. As down bottom, what did we get down there? GH bottled one. Miracle got the other. So three for one exchange on the bounty rune. Front there as Liquid take a slight net worth lead five minutes in. But not nothing too considerable. We see the middle lane is going slightly the way of the co-op. Uh, the top lane, Legion Command is getting much more out of it than the Batrider. So it, it's just, it depends on what lane you're looking for in terms of who you think is winning this engagement right now. They're going for a kill in the top lane. A bit difficult though. Those ten rolls will hurt mind control quite a lot. And here comes the charge. They keep a permanent stun for now. Arteezy meanwhile keeps hitting mind control. Does not have enough mana for the Presti attack. Finally gets it. Mind control needs to find denial here. Or maybe oh. he's just fast enough. To yeah. outrun EG. Flight. Five, five stacks? No. Kuroki off the mark again. If he had five stacks there, maybe he goes for the sick. Then now Kuroki's the one in trouble. Mind control in just behind him. The stroke of fate will not connect. Crit wants some bashes here. Has a charge in two seconds time and might commit for this one. Looking for Kuro, but gives up at the last. Oh, bottom. Even I thought they were diving a bit deeper there. S4 over the trees, far away. And safe and sound. There, the Stroke of Fate didn't have enough range, so they, they couldn't kill, uh, kill him even though they got the right Stroke of Fate there. But bottom line, we are seeing Liquid starting to put some pressure against the towers. They know there's no supports on the map. They're, they're 
kind of smelling the charge, or maybe not. Miracle got a bit greedy here. Charge hits him. And the stacks are starting to get piled on. Three seconds to that Firefly. Here comes the Queen of Pain rotating in. And now they realize they're in trouble. Firefly has been used. The Holy Missile stopping with the negation. But still, Queen of Pain is here to stay. That Rocket Barrage keeping everyone at bay. They do not have the Sonic Waves. So they can't quite engage. And the Samael is just going to let him get away. Even with the double damage rune. Yeah. He was afraid of killing off Miracle. 21 Rocket charges Barrage. on Miracle. He knew that he was holding... For as long as he could onto that. Even without that double damage rune, you're right. Even with the double damage rune, Sumail doesn't commit for it. You can see how much damage Rocket Barrage does, though. Both crit and S4. Yeah. They have to leave bottom lane just from that one <laughs> attempt. One attempted kill on a gyro. Sets up their dismissal from the bot lane. So Sumail returns mid to continue that 1v1. Up top, I'm seeing a charge though for this Legion Commander. It's, are they going to complete this? There is fly nearby. Good. Going in with the ink swell used. Okay, on level four. Nice disruption this time on the spur breaker. They, he learned from his last mistake. And most certainly this time, the ink swell on top of the spirit breaker makes it even more, yep. more vital that that disruption comes down onto crit. Oh, does he grab that Invis rune away? He does. Weeha well, doesn't have a bottle, so not a massive deal. But that Invis rune could have been a kill rune there. Focus fire, level one shackle shot, but the four points in power shot could have maybe opened up a kill attempt onto Arteezy, Fly, or even the Queen of Pain. Maybe it's Crit who's going to kill attempt now, for hoping to push mind control forward. As you can see, he's just angling right behind him. You can always use the Inkswell here. If Fly can just get in range. Stroke of Fate to think about it. following mind control. Stroke of Fate uses a charge now with the Inkswell. We'll press the attack and if he triggered in time, it won't. That means he's gonna go down. And with an open wound, they can still stop Kuroki. No disruption for Fly. They can't stop this DP though. Nice disruption there. Stopping the potential stun. Free lane bottom for the Gyro Io. Free tier one as well. I don't think so. S4 has been sitting back, farming jungle for the most part, aiming for the boots of travel. Interesting. Head to head mid, Sumail and Wee giving it all. Full mana here for Sumail though. We are running a little low and that charge connecting puts the Wind Ranger in oh. danger, but the shackle back, the disruption's ready. There's a nice little soul catcher dropping Sumail to half HP. We have pain. Sticking around. And maybe a little bit too long with that homing missile forward. Miracle has the cooldown. Sumail's got bottle charges. The help of the Grim Stroke. There's the missile connecting in with the cooldown chop. Oh, They've got the damage, but it's not quite enough. Sumail can click away in a couple of seconds, but he doesn't get it off in time. Miracle and GH deep in behind the tier one mid. Four heroes from Liquid group up towards S4 and fly. EG, hold the line. No one else shall fall. Great kill on that Queen of Pain, though. Level 1 blink, that long 15-second cooldown proving problematic for Sumail. Radiant are scanning. Yeah. And the initiation, very good. Shackle shot by Wee, stopping <laughs> Sumail from actually getting the kill quickly and walking away, which is the plan originally. EG fell into the trap of Liquid. Very good rotation there by Miracle as well. And this time I'm seeing a better Chara come from Miracle. He's rotating much more in early, taking advantage of the Rocket Barrage much more. Like it at last game, we didn't see so many rotations by Miracle, and we saw Mind Control completely being crushed. This time, Mind Control is doing considerably better. He's a he's a core, right? He's not playing support this time, which is fantastic. Yeah, he most certainly is playing core hero, not buying wards or anything this time. Hand no. of Midas, <laughs> of course not. Ten minutes in, Arteezy. Oh yeah, I was wondering where it is. Crit Crit is the courier now, delivering the Midas to his life stealer. <laughs> I wonder what he goes for next, though. Do we still see that Radiance build on Life Stealers? Is that going to be good here? Or do you think maybe the Armlet Deso, which we have seen some players shift into after Hand of Midas even, just to try and blow up people and fight a little better into Legion and Gyro. I mean, the classic counter for Gyro is more along the lines of Armlet Deso, right? Yeah. So, do well, they, even assault they want to try and put a stop to his build before it begins. They don't get the dual win. Now, Arteezy with no infest is still in a spot above that. Doesn't get into the tree line. Try to cut through and salve on his way into the tree line. But Liquid blow him up, completely destroyed, and they're TPing bottom to help out Kuro. S4's back. 
And has gone for this kill attempt. Miracle and GH shut the door on EG. A double kill for your IO now. And Team Liquid much, much stronger than game one with his relocate power. Yeah, that combo with Shadow Team is working nicely. That means you have a bit of catch with the homing missile, which before was absolutely useless. They could just destroy it along the way. And they're, they're taking more advantage of this combo. Mind Control also being a more impactful hero makes a difference here. As he's not just trying to farm and get back into the game, but rather can have a couple of initiations. I'm gonna take a tier one early as well in the top lane, together with the bottom lane. They'll control the side lanes first. Make sure the jungle is completely there. Those Ooh. triangles, like Aerith, not so much. Can they catch Wee? They have a charge. They have the ink swell. Nice shackle shot. Weeha might just have saved his own life now, as EG will give up the chase. Three versus one, and Weeha wins. I mean, he, he won in the sense that he didn't die, right? I guess that's a, a small, small victory. Kuroki might not win the same way, though. There's open wounds ready. He can still, he cannot disrupt himself. Demonic Perch, okay. That's not bad, but it's not going to stop you from dying, Kuroki. Let me give him some time so someone TPs in. No, Kuroki just wasting the time of actually a lot of heroes on Liquid right now, or EG right now. Four heroes came down bottom just to kill a simple Shadow Demon. Yeah, I mean, they oh, had to, right? The attempt mid fails. They've already grouped up as three. The natural place to shift is down bottom towards that uh, enemy safe lane tier one. That's the objective that's easiest to take. That's where they kind of want to be anyway. Dyer's Knowing that they are behind an objective attack. with their safe lane Dyer's tier one having already fallen. So it's kind of natural for them to shift down there. Getting a kill on Kuroki is the cherry on top. So now it's down to Liquid to decide whether or not they defend the tower or apply pressure elsewhere. Because mid tier one, sitting on 500 HP, could be a quick and easy grab here for Liquid, but they are setting up to defend bottom lane. That's, this is tier one, it's very rarely defended. The, the, yeah. the status quo, the kind of gentleman's agreement very much is, you take our tier one, we'll take your tier one in the safe lane, and we don't touch each other. But Liquid, they are gonna break that gentleman's agreement, break the meta, come and defend their tier one tower bottom lane. Homing Missile towards S4. Oh, Arteezy with the Rage and the Ink Swell. He tries to stand his ground and fight. But Mind Control here with a duel back. Soulbind's out with a follow through, isn't. And it looks like this duel, even though they don't get a win, will still take down the life steal to charge onto two with a Sonic Wave. Samail finally arriving right on time. Two big core kills for the price of Arteezy, but they will get an additional one. Io's relocate back in should gather up EG, if not one two kills here because Kuroki's been dumpstered as they walk up the ramp three heroes hunting him down he'll get to the shrine but don't pop it mate it's not worth it at the very least Io gets home to safety and Weeha he's come bottom he's arrived but it might be too little too late he wants a kill on S4 shackle shot level one focus fire ready Weeha finger on the trigger can he get two heroes lined up like ducks in a row he wants it so badly he wants it so badly. Here we go. The shackle shot, focus fire. In on to the Grim and Bat. S4, ink swelled up. The missile will chase him down into the river. He's on the low ground. Safe and sound. Crit not so lucky, though, as he is hunted down. Miracle and we get themselves a double kill. <laughs> okay, so that was a pretty nice, I guess, end of it, right, for Liquid. They managed to get a couple supports there, but then we saw what the gentleman's agreement is respected, right? They can dive your tier one or behind your tier one quite easily. It's very simple to ward that spot, as we see EG literally has a ward there as well. And they have no trouble picking off any heroes that try to come defend it. They lost more than they gambled for, but they do manage to defend that tier one. Which means a glyph, means some protection of your safe lane, and means that this triangle, this magical triangle over here, is still protected by those tier one vision. And now they're gonna go for a kill as well against some male. Okay, they do have the duel here. Relocate it well used. Some male, nice shackle shot to make sure you couldn't blink just in case. With that liquid, do get a very valuable kill on the enemy mid laner. Shackles off a creep as disruption ends. We are. Oh, you pick me. You disgust me. Dyer's you glorious, Dyer's glorious Dyer's bastard. Dyer's that is really beautiful. Like, that is, you know, spot on beautiful Dyer's play. Dyer's As Liquid Mount, another defense. Oh. S4 caught, completely pats down, and he's gone. Miracle on a killing spree. Yet again, the tier one bottom defended does finally fall to that catapult as they do not focus on the defense, instead, looking for stragglers and bonus kills they could grab. But th this is much more liquid feeling it. This is them in the rhythm now of these relocate gangs being set up by the Shadow Demon, by this by this Wind Ranger even. Shackles, disruptions, duels. They've got a number of ways 
to set up for Miracle and GH just to arrive on the spot. Hello. Come in. Call down. And then they're out again. Quick, simple execution and very, very clean from Liquid so far. A charge at the Legion Commander. Could turn to another kill. They do have bad eye with travel as well. But Wind Ranger, here we coming to help him out. Another shackle. And they're gonna get crit with a shackle. Mind control with a first attack. Hard to kill him down. Instead, going for the more valuable Bat Rider. Mind control can just tank that Firefly, no problem. There's no help yet from EG. All of Liquid is preparing themselves for this kill on S4. <laughs> crit! Not vision him just yet. They know where he's going. Crit gets away. Can they stop this, this TP? They can. And Bat Rider will go down with a dual damage bonus for mind control as well. So. Small rotation, but very, very useful, saving Mind Control's life and getting a kill in the process. Crit threads the needle and charges away, ever so barely dodging the advances of Liquid, but a uh, kill on S4 there. Uh, you, how many heroes did they bring bot for? It feels like Liquid are always playing this kind of four on one side of the map, and Weeha's playing the other as he does look for this play. This is why. This is why Weeha is out in the open, exposed potentially, but they've got the relocating, mind controlling, Legion commanding. Scary, scary woman with that big damage now. Level 4 yep. overwhelming odds and starting to rack up the dual damage. 20 bonus with a couple of wins. They lost their cool, calm, and collected mana from last game. Now we're seeing more EG attempts at pickoffs, more heroes being completely alone, and of course the relocate being much more impactful than last game where they stayed together as a group of five. But of course, this is just the result of your draft. You have a Queen of Pain, a Bat Rider, a Spirit Breaker. Your goal is to get those pickoffs, but if they're not effective, if you can't immediately kill the hero, you're going to eat up a relocate gank. And now I'm going to attempt to go for a five or four man gank with a bait here as a life dealer. Hopefully, this works out for EG as Liquid. Has taken the bait for now. They're thinking about it. They're not quite sure. It's mind control alone. Perhaps I'm out of position, but Liquid playing with a high ground. Here comes the call down. Mind control tanking this damage for now. Surviving press attack, helping with a bit. Mind control still not done. But they have enough damage to finally bring him down together with Miracle as well. And they find the poor ball of light. GH is not gonna go. Perhaps the tether saving him. Wee gives him enough space to get away. And he does get the kill onto Samael and the back line. Thanks to the win run focus fire combination. But they want to avenge their dead teammate. We in the back lines just completely divide this team fight. And they're, they're dividing themselves between the supports and the core here. They just come back into the fray with dual ready. They catch Grit and they kill him off. And we still alive, being impactful here, stopping the life with the shackle shot. And RTZ is in the middle of four. He's still trying to get the kill against Wee, but it's a bit difficult for RTZ because he's being tied around. Mind Control, the only hero he can catch. A Mind Control gets away with the infest damage, hoping to surprise Kuroki, getting him down with a last hit to the face. But instead, Liquid will content themselves with an S4 kill and now chase after RTZ. His armlet makes him stronger, but also a bit vulnerable because that's 400 oh. HP. Woo! Sacred <laughs> He's getting lost. Nice, Knight. We are tucks him in. RTZ going down, or uh, getting away. What a chaotic extended team fight, though. Arteezy staying alive through it all somehow. We are skirting the edges of the fight, finding the Queen of Pain, taking down Sumail early on. Liquid really kiting and baiting that life stealer as best they can. <laughs> as MC gets used up by the quap on Sumail's way through to the bounty runes. But you could see EG, their, their team fight there, if they don't get the combo, if they don't get that double lasso. Uh, you know, double Phantom's Embrace in onto the IO plus one and completely force their team fight to be ruined. Liquid have so much sustain, saving power, staying power, and the ability to nuke people down. They've honestly played that so perfectly. I've got tingles. I've got goosebumps. Liquid looks so good in that fight. We was an MVP there. The, I mean, the team fight there at the end. We are finally he rotated. He came into a fight when he needed yeah. to be. Exactly, and he got the quick kill on Queen of Pain first as well, which is super impactful. He has a much e easier target in EG now with Queen of Pain being a rather easy kill with a focus fire, not as much health uh, this time as the Morphling they had to kill last time. He's able to divide the team fight for CG to make a choice between supports and him, and obviously he's unkillable, but the support's not the easiest target either. His IO gives healing, and, sh and the Shadow Demon has a lot of way to disrupt, no pun intended, your initiation, and EG got in the middle of two heroes sandwiched between even forced the buyback from legion commander lost their cool and lost the team fight as well well played liquid still losing miracle pretty big deal and obviously forcing the buyback so it's not the easiest of team fights but that's how you're supposed to play them and they've got this timing gyro has the bkb done 
10 seconds duration. Weeha, perfect. BKB done. It is go time for Liquid. If you thought they were strong in the previous fight, these beautiful shiny golden items are going to absolutely destroy evil geniuses who rely on the magic damage of Queen of Pain, Batrider, and the Grimstroke to actually bring people down and burst through the Io Gyro Legion. Uh, and Windranger, these reasonably squishy heroes outside of the Legion Commander, of course, susceptible to magic damage. And I'm loving this liquid tempo style where they go for these early BKBs. They take control of the dire jungle and evil geniuses will mirror their movement. And now we just have to look towards the Observer Wards. See who has that prime vision. Ob's here for Liquid. Likely to be dewarded by Fly on his way through. Top lane untouched. And Liquid have perfect vision scouting for the entrance points. EG spot the exit points. So pretty much both teams know exactly where each other are at this point. So it comes down to that element of surprise. A smoke, a charge, a relocate. It's going to be a smoke coming through from Liquid. They'll kick things off. Move Radiant's through the middle lane. They need to catch the Queen of Pain. She is the big target. Haste Rune, Yule Scepter in her inventory, ready to go. We are Miracle. They both show on the tier 2 mid as Evil Geniuses repurpose, re-maneuver, infest into the Blink S4 Batrider. If they can get the two-man lasso onto this liquid side, IO plus one it is perfect, but GH is positioning on the ramp deep. Very settled. They're going to look for mind control. In over the trees, they see MC. Nice shackle back, catches bat. Now MC is trapped in here with the two-man soul blind coming through. Where's the lasso? They've moved forward with Arteezy, but Fly's already gone. Miracle wow. destroys them. He gets to deny it. Arteezy can't do a bloody thing. Oh, my God. EG get ripped limb from limb. The high ground hold from Liquid just too, too powerful. And we are even TPing down to Shrine. Hello, Crit. You having a good time, mate? Here's a shackle shot for you. Latches? No, it doesn't. So the TP out looks like it might just commit. And Crit is back home safe and sound. No idea how the shackle shot doesn't land there. But regardless, EG get handled. They committed a relocate there as well. Samael's waiting for the IO to come back, but Samael's in for a surprise. Yeah, he shouldn't wait there. But Liquid there, uh, taking advantage of the high ground, as you mentioned. That ward just came a bit too late, revealed every one of Liquid ready to fight them. And they took advantage again of having a much more maneuverable lineup around an area that's easy to maneuver. And they knew where EG was coming in, so the two choke points, Liquid just played around that. Usually, the commander's damage sponge. Even got the deny from Miracle, which is fantastic. Taking advantage of the Shadow Strike from the Queen of Pain. And proceeded to just, well, do what Gyro... Gyro plus IO does, which is last forever and do a ridiculous amount of area damage. And they might fight again, EG, hoping to like, kill this time. Lasso, but Shackle should stop the Lasso from being effective. Here comes the IO as well. S4 could die before the Inks was even completed. That was not what they were looking for. EG need to back away. They want to take advantage of this BKB, but unfortunately, lack of catch will make that impossible. Oh yeah, I don't know if we, uh, we put it out, but my control got denied in that last fight as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, yeah. yeah, I just did, Garrett. C come on. Sorry, now. sorry. I, I had to pay attention to something else being spammed at me. And I just, I just <laughs> realized Radiant I did stop listening to you. My, my sincerest apologies, Swordfish. And apparently, right. sincerest apologies to Kuroki. Or maybe not. JK Sumail, you thought it was a free kill. Has to blink away. The homing missile will chase. It's the charge. Connects onto Gyro and Arteezy in onto Kuroki. Finally brings him down. It's a call down. Catches Crit on the back end. The Soulbind will be there, but the relocate will also. Takes Miracle and GH out of harm's reach. The one-for-one -one trade off. As spells get thrown into the mix. The kitchen sink chucked in at both sides. Pretty decent commitment there. Just for a couple of supports. Yeah. I mean, in the end... You do use up the relocate, I guess, but EG commits much more of the rotation to that team fight. So, now I'll still say Team Liquid gets a bit of an advantage. It's hard to take much more advantage this relocate this match. The global potential, ironically, is better this team this game than the one with Spirit Breaker. In the middle lane, they get a duel off of this life dealer. Is it going to complete in time? The damage not enough, but they still get the kill on life dealer, which is what they were looking for anyway. And now Samuel just trying to kick We away but from behind. Comes the gyrocopter Io, hoping to catch any scragglers instead. We'll continue farming. Liquid taking this calmly, knowing they have a bigger control of this match this time. <laughs> Liquid. Look at them. 
hungry, hungry heroes around the Roche pit. It's pinged out by both sides, though. Evil geniuses know this is happening. Trying to de-ward on their way towards the Roche pit. Half HP on the big man. 14 seconds until Arteezy returns to the battlefield. Samail and Crip not wanting to get too involved. Fly has to be careful here, as does S4. They go for the play with a Blink Lasso. Disruption from Kuro. Keeping Weeha safe and sound. Crit is in the middle of five and gets absolutely blown up. Fly now in trouble as the Sumail Sonic Wave whips completely. EG tilted off the face of the map. They're going to get cleared up here and call GG. This is not a good look for the boys in blue. But the American side anyway. Yeah, one of the boys in blue is doing great. The other one's unfortunately not so well. Liquid now can complete the Roshan there. And I mean, even the Sonic Wave, I think it was just more of a... Like it hit, it clips two of them. It just forced them back. It was a bit of a zone out Sonic Wave. Unfortunately, there was nothing else you could do. Miracle is a god right now. He gets the ages, so this god actually becomes immortal. And Liquid, just unkillable completely. We too annoying. Miracle has way too much of that healing. Mind Control knows exactly when to initiate his positioning. Much more impactful this team, this game than last one. I like uh, giving Legion Command to Mind Control much more than Venomancer. I think it suits his playstyle much more. The sacrificial role is simply not what Mind Control excels at. And with a Legion Commander, even if you're not topping the net worth chart, that's not what you like playing. It's still being a very, very impactful hero with the duels. And we're seeing another duel here onto Karit. It seems like an easy one. No need to even help him out. By the way, I want to just point out before this game ends, the whole lock on Lyo eh, is actually boosting the healing onto the Gyrocopter by absurd amounts. Yeah, nice little pick up there for GH. How do you stop this though? Man, they're on your tier 3. You've already used Glyph. Miracle has Satanic, Aegis, BKB. With an IO Mech 21 Holy Locket behind him. They soul bind, they jump. The oh. two man lasso's there. It's a good catch. Can they kill? BKB's ready from Miracle. Pops it out now with a call down to follow. He is going to lose his first life or not. The Satanic is there in time to clear out RTZ. Dead for 50 with buyback available. But EG. We'll lose a tier three here, no matter what. Liquid don't even need to commit that much to finish it. S4 already way too low, and they flick back in up towards the top. They've killed off Quop. She's gone for a minute, and EG forcing the fight around that death. GH so tanky, can't be brought down. The little fall. Spirit Breakers are gone. Arteezy's in the mix of it all. Five versus one doesn't stand a chance in hell. They call GG, and they tap out of game two. All right. Well, Wind Range is the best hero in the game. Guaranteed. You know, just pick it, slash pick every game. Uncounterable. What a game by Liquid. That's exactly what you were supposed to do last game, honestly. You forced EG to divide.